in the 88 kilogram catchweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 89.1 kilograms with a professional record of 15 wins and 12 losses. The vast majority of those victories attained inside the distance. Fighting out of Manaus, Brazil, he is Sergio Creator Souza. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this man is the number one ranked MMA middleweight in Europe with an official weight of 88.5 kilograms and a professional record of 16 wins and three losses. He fights out of the UFD gym in Dusseldorf, Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Abu Supian, Abu Magomedov. And your referee judge is at the bell, Mr. Grant, Grant Waterman. Gentlemen. And just to point out there in the blue corner, we've got Daria Albers from Germany, currently residing in New York at the moment. She's come over to help and assist this man. She's not actually official the trainer, so she's doing this Brazilian man a favor while he stirs down the man. There's a big stare off there, Rich. <laughs> well, yeah, so Daria's come to sort of assist the man who was prepared to come on his own for this fight, but uh, obviously you need a corner man when you come to the fight, so. Let's see how this one pans out. Strong fighting nation of Brazil. Is a uh, Souza is a is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Magomedov has had a lot of knockouts with striking, so it's your typical MMA mix and matchup of styles with the striker against the grappler. Some ferociousness behind that left hook. Yeah, you can see the uh, the Muay Thai stance and skills there coming from there. When the low kick goes in, famous Dutch trademark. But as you said, we've got the, the amazing Ivan Hippolyte, one of the amazing Thai and kickboxing fighters from the Netherlands, from Holland in the corner. But now currently in Dusseldorf, Germany. Oh, Superman, a flying punch there. Strong some strikes coming in early doors. Some heavy hits, and, and Souza is already looking a little bit concerned about the power of some of those shots. He knows that he has to be closing that distance down. Oh. He took a shot there. Just looking for that single leg X guard. As he turns into him, tries to scramble, scrambles to take a leg. A guillotine and a oh, deep and guillotine. A deep guillotine. Oh. He's tapped on the way up. Wow, that was Straight quick. Away. Wow. Yeah, Super he did look fast. too comfortable, as you pointed out there, Richard. Did he from the uh, yeah, as soon from as the as big as strikes? Yeah. Well, look at that. That's very courteous and very respectful from his opponent. Just helping the man, giving him some water. He looks very, very. Well, it looks out of sorts, doesn't he? Yeah, it was he took a, he took some shots and some, then some got bit, guillotine. Bit, didn't big, he? Sh big shots and then it was a really deep guillotine all the way down, all the way around. It was already under the chin. You never see some of a player back from that now. This is where it was pretty much all over from this moment here. You see how see how deep that guillotine is. The elbows are almost underneath the chin. It's, it's almost like put himself into that, didn't he? He stood up. Well, he was trying to relieve the pressure. But his hands, are, hands were already kind of prepared. Prepared to tap. Probably because of the deepness of the choke. Short night's work there. Yeah, indeed. For Abu Supyan, Abu Magomedov. Well, Mago Amedov. He's looking very happy there with himself, understandably, because a very Ladies fast, and emphatic win. An official at the time. At one minute and 30 seconds in the very first round, declaring your winner by submission due to guillotine choke, Abu Supian Abu Smagov.